Hello there, and today we're going on with the goal of killing the plasma panel and basically rewriting it from scratch. Let's already get to work. We left last time at this situation where we had the panel, but actually dragging around applets wasn't working because I was trying to prettify a lot the code for animations. And of course, there was a reason why it was as bad as it looked. And now that I try to make it prettier, it's broken. So let's see why it was broken. It's been a week, I don't remember. And we're back. 20 minutes later, I played some chess while waiting for the thing to compile. And we can see that it's incredibly broken, like very broken. What do we do now? We have a couple of options. Option A is to give up on this whole animation thingy, control Z everything, and we'll try out later, which is the option that I'm going for, honestly. Option B is to actually go on and try to fix this mess as is, but I don't see much hope to actually do it. I don't understand QML well enough and I'm not mm, like mm, enough like, uh, uh, oh, come on, I can't control Z anymore. What's this? Is this the right element? Nope. Where is the right uh, document? Um, I don't have it open. That's very nice to hear. So what do we have to do? Like manually revert something? I guess we can use Git for this, we can go into Plasma Desktop, Git branch, we can see that we are in super panel, and this is all of our uncommitted changes. And some of this is actually good. Like this one is good, we talked about this last time. This is good, but this ain't. And that's actually pretty much it. Like we only need to change back this. And that's it, that, that's weird. I oh, know, okay, I forgot to press button down, okay. I also deleted all of this stuff which should come back. So let's open up um, the right elements and we're looking for this containment panel contents UI. Containment panel content UI, main.qml. We should add back on X changed and I guess on Y changed. This whole stuff on like checklist space. No, this doesn't make sense. This should be in layout on maximum height change layer. Sorry, layout on maximum. Okay, here like this and we're back to business, uh, of course, without all of the minus. Now I'm going to give you a useful tip. If you press Control Shift B, you enter Kate block mode. You can select multiple lines, do like this, and that's it. Control Shift B to exit again, and you're super productive. So like this, we reverted that change, and we also want to revert this, which is instead in config overlay, if you don't know what's this whole config overlay main.qml, I've talked about that in another video. <coughs> and we only need to go back here and, um, well, uh, we need this back, this line should come back like this. Sorry about that, I copy pasted a bit too much, like this is good. I also want this line to come back. Did I select, come on, this line, I want it to come back like this. I also need to bring back these two properties after item current applet, which is like here. Okay, and also these two, I guess. So basically I'm reverting everything I did last week because, because yeah, I don't want to fix it, honestly. It's too difficult. We'll switch into doing something funnier, hopefully. Hopefully. Never goes as planned, does it? Okay. Now, is this necessary, all the X and all Y? Yes, this is necessary. 
in main.qml sorry in main.qml asset we also need these two properties that hopefully will die soon but not today today they'll leave okay that should be enough to fix everything so let's get back and compile um, the new changes um, here and then make install minus j6 see you soon okay let's see if it worked maybe it did hopefully can we drag everything oh come on it's broken okay everything is broken we messed up it's so nice to mess up isn't it uh, line 56 uh, expected token comma what did I do um, wrong file line 56 expected a comma where current uh, oh, oops I forgot a minus that was embarrassing 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 okay let's see if this time it's working is it is it come on come on let me let me see please tell me it works it doesn't it's broken it is broken what did I do wrong this time by look for this is unrelated to configure leak enable to assign null to the double that shouldn't be it what went wrong oh come on I can't even revert changes properly come on okay now it's okay it now it's kind of working with the bugs that we had seen before but it's working what are we going to do today we are going to rewrite almost from scratch the whole um, code to actually show the applets and rearrange them mostly because the current one sucks and uh, let me show you how it works even though I showed you last time but it's always good to overdo it so we got uh, this layout manager which is what we need to kill and somewhere here we have as an example insert before this function inserts item 2 before this one so of course if there's same one don't do this but what we're going to do is loop through each element in the panel take it off until we meet item 1 when we meet it we stop and then we insert item 2 and then we re-add everything that was taken off that seems slow uh, it probably is surely it's ugly so what we're going to do is use this very advanced technique uh, which I learned about like last week googling which is a list model I think it's called this model please tell me it's called list model now um, now we you might ask me what's a model uh, what's a view well first of all I'm not the right person to ask <laughs> I'm no QML expert but uh, let's just say that QML does a very strong job of separating the data and the thing that actually displays it so if you do want something to be displayed in a list in theory like a place in theory you should have a model and a view and probably somewhere there are like delegates but uh, I don't remember what that is so the model is the thingy with all of the data in it while the view like the grid view is the thing with all of the display information in, like how items are arranged so list model we actually use to store the data as an example we might have a list model with one two three list elements with name apple cost 2.45 okay and then how it works uh, to actually show you it we have a free delegate see the word delegates a delegate actually takes a single list item and says how a single list item should look like and in this case it's a row with spacing 10 and two texts inside of it one with the name and one with the cost pretty easy I messed up sorry then there is the list view which is actually 
the actual component that contains the delegates, which has the model, which is the fruit model, fruit model, and the delegates, which is the fruit delegate. So we're going to do a list model and we're going to do the delegate, because why not? Is this the right way to do it? Probably not. Probably not because in theory you can and should define models in C++. So the nice and good approach would be to co copy all of that code into C++. But honestly, that can be done at a later time if other people really ask for it. Uh, if this works, it works and it would already be much better. So I'll just stick with it for now. Okay, how do we do this? Thank you for asking. Now, it's, it, this is probably the biggest change we have to do, so stay tuned. So the first thing is to actually kill whatever we had in the main .uml file. Let's actually close this panel file because it's confusing me. Okay, so what we currently have is a grid layout, don't we? Where is it? Grid layout, this one. When, uh, I don't think that a grid layout supports um, models, does it? Maybe it does, it probably does, like um, model delegate. Let's uh, check for the documentation. Uh, probably it will be just like a normal, um, what is it? Ex the example from before, we see that we have this list, um, where is it, where is it? List view with these two properties. Probably it's the same here. Please tell me it's the same here. We have a model which contains the model and delegate which contains a component. That's it, we've done it, it works. Okay, so what we're going to do in the current layout, Sorry, we are going to have property ball is layout horizontal. What is this? Why is this code like this? Well, what's the meaning of this? Why is in? Why is everyone using it, even though it's defined here? Why? Because maybe you need to. Okay, I know why. Because you need to. Uh, sorry. Um, Layout uh, horizontal. Okay, so f uh, it's probably this. The re is it? I'm not sold. No, it's not this one. Is like okay. I'm not sold on the meaning of this property, but let's ignore it for now. We'll kill it. We'll burn it with fire. For now, we'll just add blah 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 model applets model. Delegate, um, delegate, what do we do for the delegate? That's a good question though. So let's actually highlight these two so we can ever lose them. For the component, um, now we need to give the delegate a component. In this case, there is the applet container component. There is an issue. This component is not like we can just use it. Woof. How on earth would we have already what we need to make everything work? No, 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 no. This component is actually custom created in this code here. And the issue with making it custom is apparently none, apparently none. I thought that it was going to be worse than it actually is. I thought it was going to be worse. Okay, no, it's actually, we can actually use this one as our delegate. And um, as you can see here, basically we're creating the object applet container component with the properties applet, which is applet, visible, which is whether this applet is visible or not. And in thick area, which is whether this applet is in the thick area or not. Uh, considering that it falls back to false by default, I don't know if it should be defined here, but it is, so whatever will stick to it. So what's the idea now? So these three properties, instead of being assigned by this code here, will be automatically assigned by this model, delegate, 
thingy. Everything else will stick to it. So, I'm sorry, I'm not feeling very well today, so if I'm a bit um, tired, you know why. Okay, so let's actually do the model here. Um, we'll need to move it because it's not actually a UI element, but I want it close to what I'm doing. So list model. You might say, why are we using why are we using a list model in a grid layout? Simple as we're. I don't know. Like, honestly, I have no clue what's going on. So I'll just stick to it. ID is applets model. By default, it's empty. So I guess I can just leave it like that. No, no. Uh, yeah, why not? By default, it's empty. Okay, now we actually change the code to show doublets. So let's do adding applets first and then actually dragging them around. I don't know, actually, we need to do that in a, in a whole sitting. We need to do the whole thing without testing anything. That will totally work. Nice. Okay. Applets model. We want. Um, we want. Uh, we want the layout manager to know about this model, but it actually knows already because he knows about the layout, and the layout has the property model, which is our model. So in this file, whenever we need to look at the model, we just write layout. Dot model, and that's it. In theory, maybe it doesn't work, but it should. It should. Okay, so let's start from 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 where is it? Where do we start from? We need probably to start from add applet because that's not how it should work. It should work at applet. Mm -hmm. At applet, why are you so weird? Applet contain and this is created only here, right? So this add applet function, where is it called from? As an example, layout manager, when you're actually loading restore, how do you add applets? What do you call to add applets? Oh, you actually call that function. Okay, so this is the only function that actually adds applets. So that's easy to change. Instead of uh, applet container component dot create object, we are going to do applet uh, applets model dot c documentation append 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 why not append uh, 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 we need to create uh, the, um, a new list item element so I guess it's list um sorry eh? list elements or element dot create can I, can we actually do this can we actually do this is there any documentation on how to create new elements dynamically uh var data okay so oh, look at here how pretty this is oh, oops Sorry about that. This is much simpler than I thought. So to actually append something to the model, we just do this data thing with all of the data and data data, and that's it. Okay, so uh, we don't actually have to, have to create um, this. We just have to create applet, which is the applet visible, which is visible binding in thick area, which is false. And in theory, that should magically create an applet container component because we set this as, I um, oh, actually didn't, let me do that right away. We set this as a, deleg as a delegate. So this should be magically created with these properties. Magic, that's it. Okay, now we actually need do you do you hear if you if I press here like this? Oh yes, you do. Okay, sorry about that. So now we actually need to fix this whole thing. We don't have container anymore, which is an issue. Which is an issue. Nice. 
Nice, very nice. I love these things. Um, if we don't have container anymore, how does this work? How does this work? I have no clue whatsoever. Like, uh, basically, now that this uh, creating the component is happening magically. Well, I don't have the reference to the new element that's being created anymore. That's an issue. That's actually an issue. The good news, however, is that since this uh, is actually created like um, right away magically, we don't have to manu manually insert it inside the layout for now. For now. For now. So let's actually go back to the examples. Um, free delegate. How do you handle this? So you have this item with with a knight. I see. Free delegate with a row. Um, mm -mm -mm. This ain't simple. This ain't simple. Okay, so I think this should happen rather magically. No, maybe not. Let's see the applet code inside of here. So there is this loader element. And then there's applet. And we can do some magic here. An applet changed if there's no applet. We destroy, well, let's actually um, return destroy. Otherwise, uh, this should be run every time. Okay, so we can actually do applet parent equals um, container. Or is it? No, it's actually, is it the container? So yeah, yeah, it's probably the container. Applet um, par, uh, anchors, anchors fill container. So um, this on applet changed should be called even when it's first set. So these things are actually setting up the applet. Maybe, maybe, who knows? Who knows, not me, not me for sure. So these two things shouldn't be necessary anymore because there are none down there. Where else did we use container? Oh, nowhere else. So technically it's done and we can test if it at least shows anything or if it at least don't crash, I guess. Okay, it's the moment of truth. Does it actually show anything or is it broken? Come on, come on, I'm waiting for you. It's broken. Well. I sure didn't expect it to work first try. So let's see the error. We make the panel super big and we press this copy error details to clipboard button like this. Done. Now we go back to Kate. We make the panel smaller again like this. Kate, can you actually show us where are you Kate? Can you actually show us what's the issue? cannot assign to non-existent property delegate. But we, we checked, there is the delegate. What do you mean cannot assign to non-existent property delegate? 441. 441. We checked specifically for the property to exist, grid view. Delegate, somewhere. It has to be somewhere. De -de -dele delegate, delegate. Delegate. It does exist. What are you drunk? The delegate provides a template, blah, blah, blah. This index is exposed as an accessible index property. That's cool. That's good to know, actually. Let's uh, put it in our minds. Delegate. Let's copy paste this. And I cannot believe, uh, I cannot believe it doesn't work. What's wrong with you? cannot assign to non-existing property delegate. Let's actually Google it. I don't know why it would happen. Are you drunk? I don't believe you. I don't believe you. 
generic female delegate but non generic view attached blah 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 mm, no it doesn't uh, it's, the first uh, stack overflow result is in no way correlated so the first thing to do whenever you think your QML is drunk is to actually ask the KDE development chat which will answer you in a day or two top so it doesn't actually solve the problem for now no, I'm just kidding usually I do get some help from there but let's actually try to understand what's going on because in the very first example in the grid, grid view documentation about the grid view look at here delegate delegate I don't know how, it's not misspelled it's a grid view I do have the model I do have the delegate everything is correct I don't see what's wrong like honestly honestly zero clue what's wrong so it turns out I am drunk like seriously drunk I managed to not notice that I was reading the documentation of grid view grid view whilst my code is using grid layout which is a completely different element <laughs> I don't know how how I ever looked that and of course the grid layout doesn't actually have anything that interests us we need to use a grid view what does that mean well uh, well the grid view is used for this uh, model delegate tricks and it does mean that we are losing probably everything that's related to layout which means that probably everything will look broken but uh, step by step we'll make sure everything works works again little step by little step maybe come on come on come on come on come on what's wrong come on i'm just waiting for the plasma panel to boot okay still broken reason uh cannot assign to non-existent property columns okay okay that's fine whatever you want whatever floats your boat no more rows and no more columns you'll just guess the right direction also by like divine intervention or something we'll uh, remove everything and then uh, add everything back later on i guess good news no more errors bad news um well i don't know how to say this just look this is the whole panel at least something works now what's the issue the issue the main issue in this code is that i'm tired that's probably the main issue the second issue is that in this code there is as i said nothing setting the layout anymore nothing literally nothing also the grid view is not um, a layout it doesn't probably accept uh, layout elements which is an issue because all the applets do use a layout um, api so we should uh, try to understand better how to lay out elements in a grid view and if that's not possible then we check out how do we use model for layout elements and if that's not possible then we throw QML inside the garbage probably that's not going to be necessary luckily so let's google okay look at here this is the ugliest thing ever sorry about that ugliest thing ever but if it works it works now we have this repeater element the repeater in theory should take an element and repeat it multiple times you want 10 times the text hello repeater model 10 delegate i think no it's just a text uh, hello now repeater can also take a model as an input and a delegate 
and that's useful because we can now put the repeater inside the grid layout and give it our model and delegate. That's ugly, that's very ugly. But whatever, it floats your boats, I guess. So we take back everything and instead of these two lines, we just have this, which should change nothing in the rest of the code, I think. I hope so, at least. So let's, uh, let's try. Um, okay, what? I think the issue is that using the delegate, the actual elements do not end up like the layout doesn't end up being in the right place, but that's weird. That's very weird. And um, that's just weird, honestly, that, that's how it is. So what we're going to do... Okay, now I see no obvious issue. So what we're going to do is debug it through console logs in the add applets function. So now in, I don't know, here, console.log um, uh, layout something, layout, uh, layout ish, uh, current, um, layout children. Let's see what that does. We can see a super useful object, object. Thank you, it's probably the repeater, which is weird. I don't know how QML works. So that's the issue. That's a big issue actually, which is preventing me from doing things. Okay, that's it for today. I'm going to blame uh, QML for all of this. If you do know QML better than me and you know how I'm supposed to do this, I am blaming the fact that it seems like uh, using a delegate inside of repeater breaks, bricks gets broken uh, all of the layouts. So you can see that this person ears here in order to have both does this um, reparenting of all of the elements, which is ugly. And anyway, thanks for watching. I will find the solution. I will do a new video, but for now the panel is broken and that will probably be the title of the video. Couple of name missings as always, but thank you to all of those that donated to this channel and actually helped me grow it. And I'm super happy about how this is going. Lots of people watching the videos more than before. I'm spiking in all of the views thing is I'm super happy. I did also a channel about poetry, but I won't spam you with all of the links. If you're really interested, I did a community post about that. So my channel community tab, you can see, but it's Italian poetry. You wouldn't understand. See you tomorrow.